Whew. The wet weather's back, although I think my plants are happy because it's been getting a bit warm outside in the pots. I read an article last week about third places. So my question to you is, do you have a third place? And in case you don't know what that is, and I'm guessing a lot of people don't, so you have your first and second places which are home and work and then your third place is the other place that you go to when you're not at home or being at work and I think for most people that involves a physical place so you know it might be that you go to a pub on a Friday night or it might be that you do a lot of stuff at your local library or you have friends locally and you spend a lot of time there or they're like your anchoring points they're the places you go to but things are really weird now so I know that a lot of people are still working from home and I've worked from home for uh, six years now almost six years so first and second places get blurred because I live in the place that I work and I work in the place that I live. So my first and second places are the same place and I know that lots of people do this on a permanent basis. And Th having a third place is a weird one because I don't really have one. I don't really know anyone where I live because I moved somewhere where I didn't know anybody at all. And that's fine, I'm a massive introvert, um, I'm quite happy on my own, it's not a problem for me. I don't have that place that I go to, I suppose the only place that I go to on a regular basis is Morrison's. <laughs> You can't call the local supermarket your third place if you're just going there to shop. Maybe if I was going to the cafe and meeting friends for coffee there or something at the same time, but I don't. So, where is my third place? Well, for a lot of people, sadly these days, and thanks to modern tech and the way modern life is, the third place is the internet and over the last couple of years see I'm not into social media so I've 95% ditched Instagram and that was the only social media site that I was using I ditched Twitter several years ago um, Facebook I ditched even longer ago So in terms of social media, the place that I have is YouTube. And YouTube is, I guess, what everyone's looking for from their social media, it's a community. And I think it becomes much more of a community when you have your own channel because it's not just you watching videos and commenting and you know you might get a few people respond you are now producing the videos and getting the comments and seeing who's following you and getting feedback on that and I started my YouTube back in December 2022 with no aspirations for it beyond it being my way of doing journaling and making myself accountable and just having something else to talk to because I worked from home and lived on my own and I didn't feel isolated I just wanted to talk things out and I wouldn't have necessarily done that face to face with another human being anyway I like the anonymity of what I'm doing which is that 
although you can see me and I know that people are watching me, I don't know who they are. And I like it like that, to be honest with you. I think if I knew that people who knew me in real life were following my YouTube, I'd feel uncomfortable about that. I like the fact that all you see is what, you know, what you see is what you get. There's no preconceptions there, because I am what I am. And as the channel has got bigger and then has become monetized, I wouldn't say it's become a duty, but earning from side hustles has been a thing of mine for quite a while. So when the channel became monetized, suddenly it has a whole new level of meaning because now it's adding to my income, which allows me to remain autonomous from employers. It enables me to, to keep staying out of those situations. So I don't feel, I did go through a phase where I started posting every day because I just had lots of little things I wanted to say. And I, I know, and I want the chronology to be right and it was just easier to do it that way. And then I went through a phase where I just didn't have enough to say. And I was doing videos, I think every third day. And I saw the income drop and it was like, I was getting used to relying on that same level of income every month because my income doesn't tend to change, it stays the same. I had a really good spike month early on, which was amazing. And now it's dropped back down to a normal level. And I'm posting every couple of days, every other day. And at the moment I have quite a few things I need to squeeze in. So there might be a small section where I'm posting every day again. But I don't feel like it's a duty. I talk things out when I need to talk them out. Or when I, there's something on my mind that I want to get out. And it may be I just want to talk it out. It may be that I'm interested in feedback to get some perspective. Because there are lots of very good commenters on YouTube with constructive things to say, who have experience and are just good for advice. So I think that my first and second places are very blurry. My first and second places are the same place. So whether I only have a first place, I don't know. Um, but my third place, I would have to say, is... You could say it was my parents, but I only go there every three months, although it's for two weeks. So I get eight weeks of the, of the year there. So I'm not sure... Th even if that counts, I'm not sure. But I would say that my third place is probably YouTube. Because of the interaction that I have with it, because um, I'm putting things up there that are beyond just making comments on someone else's channel and getting lost in the numbers. It's weird to think that there are people that come to watch my channel because they want to see what I'm doing. It's good. <laughs> don't, you, don't worry, it's definitely good, but it's weird. And I don't think about it like that too often because it is what it is. So I think that's probably my third place is here on YouTube. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it depends on where you are in life. If it's serving a good purpose, then it's probably a good thing. I mean, it's not like I'm some kind of incel or sitting in a basement playing computer games for 10 hours a day. Although maybe sometimes those places can be good third places. I think it depends a lot on where you are in life. So what is your third place? I'll be really interested to see the range of third places, because I bet there's some really interesting ones out there. It might be your back garden. It might be a local hiking trail, or I don't know, maybe you spend hours riding the bus. I don't know, tell me. I'm really interested to know the range of third places that are out there 
how you are doing life. So add a comment. And this could be a really interesting, a really interesting stream of comments. Thank <laughs> you. 